This skill module discusses gas-liquid separation at the fundamental level. This section touches on why this topic is important. This module describes the different kinds of gas-liquid separation equipment typically encountered in oil and gas facilities and applications for each type reviews the various components of different gas-liquid separation equipment types and their function, describes typical gas-liquid equipment separation performance criteria and their basis, lists the fluid properties and operating conditions needed to perform gas-liquid separation equipment selection and sizing, outlines gas-liquid separator sizing fundamentals, also reviews the practical aspect of oil-gas separation system and sizing of vertical and horizontal separators and the key issues associated with gas-liquid separation systems including feed pipe, inlet devices, mist extractors, etc. This skill module covers the following topics. Principles of gas-liquid separation, two-phase separators, mist extraction devices, and vertical and horizontal separators. Gas scrubbing upstream of compressors, dehydrators, and amine systems minimizes liquid carryover, which prevents damaging the compressor and protects it. Installing a well-designed scrubber plus a coalescing filter upstream of TEG triethylene glycol or amine contactor column prevents liquid carryover causing foaming which leads in reduction of gas throughput. In addition, the liquid carryover may contaminate the chemical solvents in the TEG or amine contactors columns. If brine water enters TEG units, it will evaporate on the fire tube surface, forming a hot spot and eventually a hole causing an explosion and fire. Removing solids from gas downstream of mole sieve dehydrators and solid bed gas sweetening units. Providing retention time upstream of pumps and distillation columns to minimize large flow fluctuations which could disrupt the process. These are often referred to as surge vessels or accumulators. Slug catchers are also an example of this type of separator. Meeting product sales specifications, for example, an oil dehydration vessel to meet up basic sediment and water BS and W specification or a skim vessel to meet a water in oil specification. Separators are a critical but often overlooked component in a processing facility. The production rates will be below the target rates if the separators are underdesigned. However, production rates will meet the target rate continuously if the separation equipment were designed properly. Poor separator performance can significantly impair the effectiveness and availability of downstream process equipment, which in turn reduces profitability. Installing a well-designed scrubber plus a coalescing filter upstream of TEG triethylene glycol or amine contactor column prevents liquid carryover, causing foaming which leads to reduction of gas throughput. In addition, the liquid carryover may contaminate the chemical solvents in the TEG or amine contactors columns. If brine water enters TEG units, it will evaporate on the fire tube surface, forming a hot spot and eventually a hole causing explosion and fire. Presence of solids, sand, paraffins, wax, hydrates, scale, etc. Corrosion may cause blockage or damage in the separation equipment and potential rupture or leakage leading to polluting the environment and creating unsafe conditions. This skill module discusses the topics shown here. You may also be interested in the skill modules shown here.